my channel. In today's video, I am here with this makeup look right here. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's something that I normally wouldn't go for, but I really want to try something new, and I love it. Once again, this is using the ColourPop Times Kathleen Lights So Jaded Palette. I really have been liking this palette. If you guys want to see more looks using it, definitely let me know down below. But this is a look we created using that palette. I also tried some new makeup as well, some Laura Mercier stuff. So yes, if you guys want to see how to get this look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so going into the shade Sapphire, it's a dark blue shade. I'm taking a small pointed pencil brush, lifting my head back and doing circular motions, starting in the middle of my crease, going all the way from the inner to outer corner. This is so crucial, really take your time. As you guys see, I go back into the shade a lot. This look requires a lot of blending and a lot of patience. This one side probably took me about 30 minutes. So you really have to have patience. As you guys see, I'm really taking my time, really blending this, doing circular motions, going all the way into that inner corner. And I keep building this color up until it's the intensity that I would like it to be. Since I'm using the same brush for this look, I wanted to show you guys to make sure you clean it off every single time if you are using the same brush. I take a makeup wipe and then I go ahead and take a paper towel to really ensure it's clean. Now going into the shade Sapphire, it's an even lighter blue shade. I'm putting that shade above the shade we just did, doing the same technique. It's going a little bit above. This really helps blend it and make the look really pop because you have that light blue going into the dark blue. So again, really take your time doing circular motions from inner to outer corner. Now what I'm doing here is so important. I take a translucent powder and I go ahead and blend all of that together. This really, really helps to ensure everything is nicely blended. I highly recommend you do this. I did it after every single color. I took that powder and I blended them together. And as you see, I'm going back in with each blue just to make sure it's really intense. For my brow bone, I wanted to go with this color from the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill palette. This really ensures that the look is nice and cleaned up, so I highly recommend you do this before finishing your look. Now going back into that palette, I'm taking this black shade just to intensify the look, and I'm putting it a little bit below that dark blue shade, doing the same exact technique. Circular motions from inner to outer corner, making sure to round it out as well. Now I'm going in with concealer, and this is so, so crucial. Make sure you take your time. You guys can see it's even hard for me. Really make sure you have the perfect small brush and carve that out. Put your head back and just breathe as you do this. Going back into the So Jaded palette, I'm taking Aquamarine and I'm just taking my finger and popping that right on the center of my lid. Now I'm taking the shade Onyx, it's a dark blue shimmery shade and I'm putting that right next to the shade we just put on the center of our lid. This really is going to blend everything together and make it really dimensional. So really make sure you take your time with this and blend them two shades nicely together. But make sure you keep that aquamarine shade right in the center. Now taking some glitter glue and popping that a little bit on the center of my lid, not too much, and then going in with the shade Opal. It's a little glitter and I'm just popping a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this in the center of the lid just to add some, you know, glitter to the look. And then taking my MAC liner, putting that on my lash and then popping on some mascara as well as lashes. And that is it for now for the eyes. And then we'll go ahead and start the face. 
But moving on, we're gonna start off with the face now. So I have some new products from Laura Mercier that they sent me. I have a new hydrating primer, I have a face illuminating, a new glow translucent powder, I believe, and I'm so excited. So I thought I would put this in this video and just show you guys the products, test them out for my first time, and see how I like it. So first I'm gonna start off with the Laura Mercier. This is the foundation primer and hydrating. You guys know I love the last one that I used in my video. And this is the hydrating one. I used this yesterday in my last video. And I really like this. So I thought we could use it again in today's video to see how it goes. You guys know my skin is more so dry. So I love primers that are so hydrating. That feels amazing. It feels so, so hydrating. How are you guys liking my brows? They're bushy brows. I've been into bushy brows so much lately, and I posted on my Instagram what I use for them, and you guys seem to really like it. So if you guys want to see like a brow routine, I do a brow tint first, at home brow tint, and then I go ahead and do the bushy effect with this new, where is it? It's the, let me see if I can find it, right here. No, oh, that's not it. <laughs> I have so many things. Oh, it's this right here. The Ardell Medium Brown. This is the micro, micro brow pen. And it's so, so amazing to get the hair-like strokes. It's amazing. If you guys want to see the tutorial on this, let me know down below. But I'll probably just do it anyway because it's literally life-changer if you like bushy brows. Okay, so that primer, as you guys see, gave me a nice hydrating base. So now moving on to foundation. Before we do that, I'm just going to spray my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray this is the setting spray or punishing spray so for foundation you guys already know i'm going to be using the nars radiant foundation the longwear one i love this foundation i have it in my makeup kit for freelancing i love it this one is in number l1 and this one is l4.5 so i'm going to mix these two a little bit more of the lighter one and a tad bit of the dark one because this one's a little too light for me so I do three pumps of the light one, and then go in with like two pumps of the dark one. Take the rest of my hand with my beauty blender and blend away. So to conceal, I'm going in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. So as you guys know, I do it under my eyes, bridge of my nose, center of my face. Just brightens everything up. This concealer, you do not need this much, but I like full coverage, so why not? This is the Laura Mercier, the translucent loose setting powder, but in glow. So I'm so excited about this because you guys know I love a good glow. It is a little bit darker than the original, but we shall see. Okay, taking my Morphe M438 brush, I'm just going to dip into that right there. Tap off the excess and we shall see. Really nice. Like, look, you see how that side's obviously a little bit more glowy because I didn't set it yet. But this side still has that nice sheen to it because of the powder. Loving that. It gives you like a nice glow right on that high point. Do you see that? It's like I have a highlighter on. I love it. I hate looking dry, and who likes looking dry? So that's really, really nice. If you're more oily, you might like the original one. I love the original one as well. But for my dry skin, that one is so beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just going to set the rest of my face lightly with that as well. I like that. So usually I go ahead and do the eyes, but I look so pale right now. We need to add some bronzer before we finish that. So you guys already know, I've been obsessed with the Laura Mercier number one bronzer. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to take that with my Morphe R10 brush. I'm so pale right now. Look at that. 
perfect. I love this. So now that we don't look as pale, we're gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm gonna zoom you in. So let's get started. Okay, so I went ahead and did this eye off camera. It's literally so easy for the bottom. I didn't want to make anything too harsh just because the eyes are really dark. So we're just gonna be taking this is the Pixie liner in black blue. It's just a dark blue eyeliner. I'm gonna bring it my waterline as well as underlining my lash line and then smudging it out. That same brush we use for the whole look. I'm just going to blend that out. And lastly, going in with some bottom mascara. This one is the Marc Jacob one. Then for the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm taking that Jaclyn Hill palette and taking that shade we used over here for the brow bone. I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit. And that is it for the eyes. I am so in love with them. What do you guys think? Let's finish the face. So for blush, I'm taking the NARS One at Number One palette, and I'm going in with this shade right here. It's like a nudie brown blush. Nothing too much with the eyes. Don't want to go overboard. As I go overboard. <laughs> Okay, we'll fix that. We'll fix it. I'm not really a fan of that one for this look, so I'm gonna go in with the MAC one in Prism. That is so much better. Okay, so Laura Mercier also sent me a bunch of, these are the Face Illuminating, the Illuminator Viage Powder. And this one looks so pretty. This one is in Devotion, so we're gonna try this one. Oh yeah, that is so, so pretty. Put the apples on my cheeks as well. Wow, oh, going with that Jaclyn Hill one that we use for the brow bone. Just so it's not super dark. Just going back with that Too Faced spray. Now to finish off with the lips, I want to go with like a nudie type of brown look. I'm debating if I want more of like a matte. Gloss. What do I want? I'm going to go with this one. This is the NYX one in Spirit. You guys know I love this one. time favorite favorite nude it's never disappointing okay guys so that is it for this look right here i'm literally obsessed with it i usually want to do colors like this but i want to step out of my comfort zone and try something new so hopefully you guys really really enjoy it so yes that is the so jaded color pop times caffeine lights i'm really loving this palette you can create so many different looks with this and i'm really liking it let me know down below if you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette if you have any color you want me to use definitely let me know down below but yes, that is it for this look right here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.